The following most question is about ratios and uh, this question will be solved using a trial and error method. So the question reads that you have 1.15 grams of a metallic element which reacts with 30 cm cube. Now this 1.15 gram of uh, this metallic element, uh, you have four options. One is calcium, magnesium, potassium or sodium. So there could be four options. This element reacts with 300 cm cube of oxygen at 298 calories which is room temperature to form an oxide which contains O2 minus ion. So what that basically means is that if the answer was calcium, so let's start with calcium and let's uh, use a trial and error method. So if the option was calcium, now I'm going to write an equation of calcium and he's saying that calcium reacts with oxygen, O2, and forms a compound containing O2 minus ion, which is going to be calcium oxide in this case. And if I balance this equation, there would be two calcium oxides and two calciums now the ratio in which uh, calcium and oxygen are reacting is that for every two calciums one oxygen molecule reacts so our basic assumption of this question the way this question would be solved is that if the information that is provided fits this ratio one ratio two then this equation would be the correct equation because the data fits that particular equation so starting with this you have 300 cm cube of oxygen gas so if you have 300 cm cube of oxygen gas you can find the moles of oxygen gas using uh, the formula that one mole of gas occupies 24,000 cm cube so it's going to be uh, the moles of oxygen gas would be the volume of gas which is 300 divided by the molar volume which is 24,000 cm cube and using my calculator the answer that I'm going to get is 300 divided by 24 divided by 24,000 and the value that I get is 0 0.0125 moles so I have 0 0.0125 moles of oxygen gas now the other information that's given is that you have 1.15 gram of the metallic element so that's calcium if option A is is considered to be correct so you have 1.15 grams of calcium. So moles is equal to mass of calcium divided by the uh, uh, the AR, molar mass of calcium, which is 40. And the answer I'm going to get is, so it's 1.15 divided by 40, which is 0 0.02875 moles. So it's going to be 0 0.02875 moles. Now, if you look at the moles, 0 0.0125, the ratio in which oxygen and calcium, if calcium was the correct answer, then the ratio of the moles should be 2 ratio 1. But if you look at the ratio, 0 0.0125, if you double that, it's not going to be 0 0.08275. So this ratio of moles that is given in the question does not fit our equation. The equation states that the ratio in which calcium and oxygen react, it's 2 ratio 1, but the moles, according to the information provided in the question, they're not coming in the same ratio, which means that this option one, calcium cannot be the answer because the, the ratio of the moles does not fit the ratio of the equation. So the first option is going to be incorrect. So we're now, we're now going to try and test the second uh, option B, which is magnesium. So let's uh, think of the element as being magnesium. So we're going to write an equation of the reaction of magnesium with oxygen, which is written over here, Mg plus O2 produces. MgO. So you have the same volume of oxygen which is going to be 300 cm cube. So you have 300 cm cube of oxygen and we already know that 300 cm cube of oxygen produces uh, that we calculated previously. The moles of oxygen are going to be they're going to be 0 0.0125 moles. So the moles of oxygen are exactly the same because it's the same oxygen so 0 0.0125 moles we need to find the moles of Mg now, so it's uh, the mass is the same, 1.15 gram that is given in the question. So mass divided by the uh, molar mass of Mg, which is 24 in the periodic table. So that, that would give you the moles of Mg, and if you use your calculator to solve this, it's going to give you approximately 0 0.0479, 0 0.0479 moles. Now, if you look at the moles, the ratio of the moles 0 0.0125 moles and you have 0 0.0479 moles of mg 
uh, again the equation that you made one oxygen reacts with two magnesium so the ratio of the moles should be one ratio two which is not true in this case if you uh, when i use the information that's given in the question i got uh, 0.125 moles of o2 and i got 0.0479 moles of mg which is not one ratio two so this option b cannot be the correct answer because it doesn't fit the equation that i made for magnesium now let's try option C where you have potassium reacting with oxygen. It's, it's going to produce K2O because K has a charge of plus 1. So this equation would have a different balancing. There would be two potassium oxides because there are two oxygens over here, two oxygens over here. And that would make four potassium. So this is four. So the ratio in which uh, potassium and oxygen are reacting, it's going to be four ratio one. Now again, using the information that's given in the question, it's uh, 300 cm cube of oxygen which uh, we've already calculated the moles previously it's going to be 0 0.0125 moles and you have uh, you have uh, 1.15 grams of potassium so we're going to find the moles of potassium it's going to be mass divided by the molar mass for potassium which is 39 in the periodic table so so this would give you the moles of potassium which come out to be equal to 0 0.029 and 295 according to three significant figures rounding to three significant figures and again if you look at the mole moles of oxygen and the moles of potassium uh, according to the equation one oxygen reacts with four potassium so the ratio of moles should be one ratio four but if you look at the moles that you you're getting using the information that's given the question 0 0.0125 moles is reacting with 0 0.0295 and this is not one ratio four so the ratio of the moles according to the information provided in the question does not fit our ratio in the equation so option c cannot be the correct option so now we're going to focus on that last option which is option d which has to be correct because that's the only option that we are left with now uh, option d has element uh, the element that is chosen in option d is sodium so sodium reacts with oxygen produces sodium oxide and the balance equation uh, if you look at the balance equation one oxygen reacts with four sodium so so the ratio in which uh, oxygens and sodiums react is going to be four ratio one we've already figured out the modes of oxygen previously as well so the modes of oxygen that are used is this 300 cmq it's going to be 0 0.0125 moles 0 0.0125 moles and we need to find the moles of sodium it's 1.15 grams of the element sodium divided by the molar mass of sodium which is 23 in the periodic table so this would give me moles and the moles come out to be for sodium it, they come out to be 0 0.05 moles now if you look at the ratio in the equation it's four sodiums reacting with one oxygen so so the ratio of sodium and oxygen should be 4 ratio 1 and according to the information that's provided 300 cm cube of oxygen is equal to 0 0.0125 moles 1.15 grams of sodium is going to be divided by 23 it's going to be 0 0.05 moles now if you look at the ratio the ratio comes out to be exactly 1 ratio 4 if you have 1 oxygen 0 0.0125 moles of oxygen then the moles of sodium are going to be 4 times that many so if you multiply 0 0.0125 by 4 you would you would exactly get 0 0.05 moles so this fits with the ratio in the equation which is 4 ratio 1 so the data that is given and the moles that we found out using that data the moles are exactly in the same ratio as the one that is given in the ratio in the equation which means that the data that is given in the above question fits this equation which we made with sodium so going back to the question option d is going to be the correct option for this question so it's going to be option d